If Moses had an agent, she'd be rolling in commission dollars. The famous prophet has been cast once again, this time in Exodus, Gods and Kings. It's starring Christian Bale this time as the chosen one, and Exodus marks perhaps the most epic portrayal yet of Moses leading the Jews out of Egypt. The story of Moses on screen dates back to the early days of cinema. Directed by J. Stuart Blackton, The Life of Moses was a silent production that came out in the early 1900s. It would be a couple of years before the coming of Cecil B. DeMille's 1923 silent film, The Ten Commandments. Let my people go. But the most famous version came in 1956, when DeMille remade his own film, this time with Charlton Heston. Behold his mighty hand. It was a spectacle like Hollywood had never seen, and that made it expensive. It cost over $13 million to produce, the most costly movie ever made at that time. In the years to come, the story of Judaism's most important figure would take many forms. Moses, played by Burt Lancaster, led the children of Israel to the Promised Land in a 1974 miniseries called Moses the Lawgiver. A few years later, viewers got to see how God decided on just Ten Commandments in the Mel Brooks comedy, History of the World, Part One. The Lord Jehovah has given unto you these 15, <laughs> 10, 10 Commandments. And in 1998, Moses' story of death, plague, and hardship became a kid's movie. The Prince of Egypt hit the big screen with Val Kilmer playing the voice of God. I am the God of your ancestors. Exodus, Gods and Kings adds a new dimension, literally. This time, the story of Moses is released in 3D, and at more than 10 times the cost of Heston's film, director Ridley Scott hopes that this classic story of deliverance will deliver on box office receipts. Yeah!